Hello, it's Jesse Green, Dish 619 Nerd, and this is Arrow. I'm thinking this is 5. Uh, don't call me, I'll look it up later. I should have looked it up. Before I started this, oops, sorry. Um, but this one uh, starts off with uh, a girl uh, has the arrows. It's apparently uh, Talia, but they don't call her that. Stupid. Uh, Race is race or at Roz, whatever you call it. Al Gold's daughter, and she's apparently in love with Sarah, and she wants Val's revenge. And come to find out, Merlin's still alive, which we already knew that, but you know they don't. Um. So the whole episode, they think Merlin's the one that killed her, and. They try to find out stuff, even having Lorelai um, say something about Sarah, something about Jansen. Who is he? He was a monk in a monastery. That's how they find out Merlin's alive. He does a fight with between uh, both Arrow and uh, Talia. And then he does a Batman moon with smoke and he gets away. Apparently, uh, Oliver shoots an arrow and he, uh, and he start, uh, it's a tracker system, which, uh, he sends him to some kind of factory, which nobody's there. He's, he has a meeting with them. And he, know, uh, uh, he tells her, I think Oliver knew, but he's not telling his sister that he is her daughter. But he told her. So there's lying all around. But he swears on um, the sister's life that his daughter, um, Thea, thank you, mind working, is her, his life. Um, Lorelai, uh, or Dana, <clears throat> um, to do whatever it takes, because Oliver is not going to kill, so he did it. And it shows flashbacks to Hong Kong, where he has to kill one man. He didn't want to do it, but he did. Come to find out, he was supposed to blow up a plane with one person in it. And they had uh, uh, Amanda Waller come back to Hong Kong. She was not happy, but still. Um, and Thea uh, is um, joining a club again, which I think she owned one before. So they have backers, so there you go. Uh, um, Rory. 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 I'm not Rory Pond, okay. Roy, Roy, Speedy, aka Speedy, um, helps her out. I'm trying to be zen about it. Um, uh, so Talia kidnaps uh, um, Thea to make sure uh, Merlin comes out to try to save her. Oliver gets there first, and then there's like a triple threat match. Fight going on. Uh, Oliver Queen and Taya had a fight, and Merlin joined in. Nice. Um, and then Oliver actually sticks uh, Taya to the wall or to something, and then they let him go because he believes he's not not killed her. But hello, he killed other people, including his son Tommy, apparently. Um, I haven't, I haven't gone that far. I need to watch, go back and binge watch the first two seasons. Anyways, um, so he let to go. She's not happy. And now, now the League is assassin. He tells, tries to tell the League of Assassin, oh, I'm gonna protect Merlin. Yeah, okay. I can see that really happening. And they have long memories. And then you see him, Raish, 
her father in the flesh, the demon himself. He even calls him the demon a few times, but Merlin's the devil. So there's going to be a war with with uh, the rest of the uh, in Starling City because he was going to have him arrest him, but he even told him, "Hey, we're trained by the League of Assassins. No prison's going to hold me." Yada yada yada. You either have two reasons: kill me or let him go. He did. That was a mistake. Um. So we'll see how it goes. Um. Um. So we'll see how it goes. Uh. Nice episode. Um. We still don't know who really killed her. Was it Merlin? Was it not? Because Merlin even said that Rache could have been the one that ordered the hit. Because she, even he said she was never really a part of us. But I do like Merlin calling. I didn't kill your beloved. That's a totally Batman reference right there. Anyways, really good show. I'm gonna give it a three. Again, I have to watch all the other ones to really feel the impact of especially last season. And this is Jesse Green, D619Nerd, and off.